Part three of Dokkan Battle's ninth anniversary is finally here, and along with it came the long-awaited EZAs of LR MUI and LR Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta, and these boys? Cracked doesn't even begin to describe it. So of course, it's our duty to take them in game and see just how crazy these boys really are. Now, disclaimer, for the first time in a long time with these Slavix first time use of the unit videos, I've already used them. Real chill. Ch my bad. It's not even my bad for real though. I live recorded my first time using them over on my Twitch stream, twitch.tv slash Slavix, and I asked the chat beforehand, is the footage lagging? No, Slay, it's not lagging. It's fine. It's fine. I go to start editing. So I can't use it. Shout out to my chat. You guys are fucking idiots. Either way, we're using the same team. So you know what, this showcase is more for you than it is for me. And that's more reason for you to leave a like before we get started. You know what, let me quit wasting time. Without further ado, oh right, and we're taking on the new Beast Gohan fight. He's really hard. Pause? Without further ado, let's get into it. And you know, my fucked up footage could be a blessing in disguise, right? This could, because I've, funny enough, I, I was so excited to use these units the first time I hopped in with them live with my chat. Like I kind of just hopped in and I was kind of like remembering bits of their passive, like as we went on, but I pretty much used them for like <laughs> three or four hours today. So I'm way more familiar with them now. And these boys, you guys, I don't even know what to say. There were many points in the original recording where I was simply just flabbergasted and I, Literally just like not even saying words, like just making noise. And this is probably gonna be a bit of the same thing. So immediately start a turn defense for MUI Goku, 359K. Now I know that's not crazy, right? At least compared to most of the other stuff we've seen, he has guaranteed dodge for the first turn. And that's not the only time he can get guaranteed dodging. Let's let's not even get into that. Let's just, let's let the turn play out. Bro, if you would have told me, like even back when Android 17 and 18 came out, if you would have told me that this, this team, them leading, it and all these old ass like 2021 2020 speaking of fucking 20s speaking of 20s that's 20 million this unit could barely crack four two days ago could barely crack four million with support all right fuck it right way to way to bring these units into the new age look i these units are old and i know that concept shouldn't break my mind like easy a zenkai's we know what they're here for bro we take old characters and we make them better but there's just there's always been a certain degree to it a certain level of better that they got these two vegeta and goku went from like kind of nobodies not even kind of they went from nobodies to two and three i and y'all know i don't play with the number shit this is two and three in the game they are incredible First phase is already dead, by the way. This this team is stupid. And now we got Mr. Vegeta here. Oh, and just like Goku, he's got a real nice special bonus for his first turn. He's guarding against all attacks. Oh, but I've seen guard units take damage. That's true. That's true. He's got 50% base damage reduction. I just... I... <laughs> I'm, I'm doing the thing again. I genuinely just don't even really understand how we got here. These have to be, and I feel like we've been saying this a lot with these ninth anniversary easy A's, but this seriously has to be two of the best easy A's in the game, period. There is literally no contest. You don't stun or seal or something stupid like that, right? No. Vegeta's just gonna eat that. He Guard with 50% and he's starting with a 12 mil. By the way, if you didn't think that 12 mil is already impressive, which kind of crazy that we're at a point in Dokkan where I forgot that this bitch ass nigga does that. I hate you, Gohan. I hate you so much. Luckily, we don't have too many key base supers on this team, so he won't he won't be doing that a lot. All right. I just, I, I literally just these these are the best easy A's ever, bro. There there's really not much to say. I mean, there is, but most of it I said in the other video. Damn, my chat really ruined this, huh? They gotta do better, bro. This is on you guys, really. But I'm not mad. I get to use these guys again, bro. So I, I can't complain too much. That is a lot of damage, Goku. Tighten up. I just spit all over my mic. Um, for those of you that haven't been keeping up, you're probably wondering where I've been the past couple days. And you can probably hear it on my voice too. I, I was sick, bro. I was super sick. Uh, I mean, I guess there's no reason not to say it, right? Like I came down with strep throat. Uh, some of you probably don't know what that is and I can't blame you if you don't, but basically my throat felt like I was swallowing glass for the past couple of days. And that's not exactly the best environment to, oh, I forgot to check MUI's defense. Anyway, remember how he had 100% dodge on the first turn? Yeah, now he's rocking 77. And I know, again, to some people, that really might not seem that crazy, but bro, that's basically 80%. And this guy, MUI, 
I don't know about you. I literally know this guy just for being fraudulent with his fucking dodges. This nigga used to never dodge, ever. If there was a dodge or die unit that was always gonna choose die, it was this nigga right here. And look at him, he just doesn't stop dodging now. And now he gets dodge for dodging that I think stacks on his original, this bitch, he did it again. He did it again, he's gonna piss me off. Now he gets dodge for dodging. It's like these units are gapless. Like, I remember a while back, and I'm sure some of you may remember, we had a survey where they asked us, Dokkan asked us, what approach should they start taking with easy A's, right? And there was options. And I believe option A was like, oh, just take like the weaknesses of the character and like, you know, make them stronger or like eliminate this character's weaknesses. And then one of the other options was like, bring the characters up to current day content. Obviously everyone went with the update characters to current day content. And my theory is that this ninth anniversary, all these easy A's that we've been seeing, fuck. Are we dead? Please don't be dead, bro. This is my only try for the day. Please don't die. I mean, we've got so much defense. There's no way we die from this right. Okay, thank God. This Gohan does not play games. I am right to fear him. As I'm sure you guys have noticed down there. Yeah, we can revive. I almost forgot to talk about these niggas have the easiest revive conditions in the game, bar none. It's not even close. Matter of fact, let me check on Vegeta's defense again because he is stacking per Super Vegeta. He's already cranked it up to 500k. Again, he's just running around with 50% base damage reduction. You guys think that's good? You think he's decent? <laughs> I'm still fucked up. 17 and 18, no matter how much value they get on this team with all these crazy busted reps of U7 units, they're just designated floaters, bro. You just let the crazy units do the crazy things and 17 and 18 can just sit back there, get orbs and support or whatever. 17 million, this guy's missing legendary power. That's an easy 20 mil because that's like 20% attack he's missing from legendary power. I keep forgetting he can do that and it keeps making me mad all over again. Are we serious? Okay, I mean, I guess Goku gets the stack, but like, I don't wanna, you know what I'm saying? I don't wanna die. Please kill Goku. Thank you. I'm just stupidly impressed. And you know what? This may work out and you lock him in the spot where he can't even dodge. Well, you know what? We're probably a thousand percent gonna die this turn, but what does it matter? What does it matter? I'm literally going to revive. And the revive? If you thought shit was already crazy, we're talking about 20 mils. Let me see Goku's defense. Oh my God. We're talking about 20 mils, 800k defense. 80% chance to dodge, by the way, on fucking top. We're already talking about that. After they revive, that's when shit really gets crazy. You'll see. No, seriously, you're gonna see because we're 1000% gonna die. If not, Mr. Hates to dodge in the front, it's gonna be these bums in the back. All right, now we managed to get the seven orbs. That's gonna be support for everybody. This is... <laughs> This is crazy. Oh, we actually dodged it. 21 million. Like, this isn't even the unit we're talking about, bro. What do you what do you think AGL MUI is about to hit for? He doesn't even stack or anything. All the shit that MUI specifically can do is just turn one raw 18 million. And you know, people are upset too because a lot of people, mainly if I had to gauge who these people are, right? I'm assuming they're Broly fans. I mean, I've just been talking up so much about how Broly deserves to sit at number one in the game for a while. What? Not only did Beast Gohan knock him off, we just got to keep it a buck, people. These two easy A's right here just knocked him down even further. No way you guys are going to dodge all of these, right? Yeah, of course not. They actually tanked that way better than I thought they would. Oh, shit, are we for real right now? Oh, oh we're about to have the crash out turn of the sensor. Sen Damn, crash out turn of the century. You have to bear with me, guys. I'm trying to get back into the swing of things. I ain't recorded in like four days. This turn right here is about to be fucking crazy. Immediate, there's no, does he even survive this turn? Maybe he has to kill us. There's no way we don't die. I mean, firstly, we buff everybody with this. I can't even believe Super Saiyan Blue Cock half a, <laughs> I just can't believe the dude. Vegeta, more than anything, his nickname was literally Ass B.E. He was dog shit. One of the worst anniversary units to ever grace the game. And now look at him. He's contender. I see niggas on the timeline saying he better than Beast. They're lying, by the way. He's not better than Beast. But the fact that he was good enough that they could even fix their lips to say that shit speaks volumes. This shit is unbelievable. We might still die here right away, which I'm fine with. I want to see one of their revives before this video is over. Apparently that damage reduction that Evo Ken gets from dropping below a certain HP, apparently that might not activate until they attack, which I guess, you know, isn't the worst, but let's see it. How much damage? Okay. 
Yep, there's your confirmation. But now we get to see Vegeta revive. Dude, these revives were impossible to get before, too. I think Vegeta wanted to be hit eight times. First off, are you fucking kidding me? The nigga couldn't take a hit for shit. You wanted me to let him get hit eight fucking times? Now he just needs to get hit five times, and I think we... I don't even think he has an HP threshold after the five-time hit. I think he can just revive afterwards. Like, this is some of the craziest glow... No. These niggas can't be serious, bro. Oh, right. That, uh, that bonus we get when we revive? Yeah. They get an additional 77% attack and deep. Oh, you don't believe me? Don't look at me. Look at it. A million fucking defense. Again, he has guaranteed dodge this turn. All, all he's going to do is dodge. <laughs> oh, my lord, Omatsu. Here's something else, my guy. I mean, we might as well just use the active skill because there is a fat chance that we just straight up fucking die this turn. I can't even lie, bro. Beast is supering in the front. I refuse to die, though. I'll just throw the STR one in front. I guess I got to kick off AGL. But I mean, a million defense, guaranteed crit on the turn. He he got to flex enough, bro. He got to flex his muscles enough. These guys are insane. 12 million. Oh, but yeah, some people are literally upset because... I guess they really can't fathom that. And I guess it is really abnormal for what we're used to from the game. Oh, did you see how much he healed? Yeah, that's just the million defense kicking in. Like, these easy A's, these aren't even new summonable units. These easy A's are straight up better than the part one units. Point blank, period. The quote unquote Dokkan anniversary problem literally used to be the part two units. The part two units always used to fucking suck. Now, not only are the part two units pretty much, I don't know about the gammas, but pretty much better than Broly and Gogeta. Now these six year easy A's are just undeniably better. Just straight up better. I just, I just can't believe we're here, bro. I just, I just can't believe it's real. He's got guaranteed crits for the turn now too. Guaranteed dodge, guaranteed crits. Like what don't these, these units are gapless, bro. They literally do it all. This shit is unbelievable, bro. Oh, no way. No way they're gonna let me end it with the KO screen. First off, let me check Vegeta's defense. God. That's a million fucking defense with 50% damage reduction and guard on the turn. I mean, just kill him. Kill him, Vegeta. Fuck it, bro. And you know what? We were talking about earlier in the anniversary, Broly deserves it. Vegeta gotta be right up there with him, bro. As a disrespected character in Dokkan and in Legends, bro. Like, he deserved this, bro. More than a lot of characters. Go ahead, Vegeta, take it home. Are you kidding me? Are you dead ass? Go, go on, such a bitch, bro. And look, he locked him in the last slot again. Nah, Gohan's playing fucking games. Am I gonna die? That's not a super in front, right? I think we have the scouter up, so we would know if that's a super. No way we take over 700k from this baby normal in the front. There's literally no way. We just tank this and kill him, right? Okay, thank God. I would have been very upset. But there you have it, guys. That's, <laughs> that's LR, AGL, MUI, and who used to be ass BE. Reborn, the, the best in the game, bro. And you know what, just for authenticity's sake, I probably will include the first run of my raw reaction to them just cause that's too good for us to miss out on. So this is future Slavix saying goodbye, sending you to past Slavix, who's using the units for the first time. This first video back sucks, huh? That doesn't mean you can't leave a like, bro. It'd still be appreciated, please. I was sick, bro, cut me some slack. I can't lie either, bro. I am extremely excited about this. Look, again, as we do with all the easy A's that we ever test out here on the channel, I have dodged everything about these boys. I I mean, I read their kits, of course, and they just, on paper, they're already, I don't even have anything to say, bro. Can you see that I'm already giddy, like, before we even got to use them? And you know who truly is, you know, even if UI winds up being better, Vegeta really just got the glow up of the century. Because this motherfucker's nickname was literally Ass B.E. That's how dog shit he was. And now let's see the boys start a turn defense. Okay. 345k. Um... That may not be crazy to you, like just out the gates normally, but uh, this turn he guards against all attacks and this crazy bastard has 50% baseline damage reduction. It's like they took everything that we said they need to do to make these easy A's decent. 14, this is turn one. T he, he's, he stacks with every attack, by the way. Oh yeah, why not, Vegeta? Literally, why not, bro? Yeah, just keep critting. Why do oh, don't they have, I could be tripping. I may be misremembering this, but they might even have guaranteed crit on 24 key which 
they did not need. They did not need, bro. You know, I really feel like that survey we did for JP Dokon a while, while back where they asked us like, how do you want us to approach easy A's in the future? And the options were like, oh, just upgrade the parts of the unit that already made it good or just like update the units to be able to handle current day content, which is of course what I'm sure majority of people voted for. And that's exactly what these motherfuckers gave us, bro. These dudes can hang. And yes, like I said, Vegeta was definitely worse than Goku on launch back in the six year anniversary. Again, the man's nickname was Ass B.E. He was literally a joke, but I'm more, I, I, I'm low key more excited to see what UI is cooking here, bro. Look at it. First off, look at how much key this thing has, bro. It's turn one, it's turn one. This is going to be easily be my biggest fanboy Dokkan video ever, bro. Like ever, maybe until we get the next Vegito or something, but like start to turn defense for MUI Goku. Oh my God. <laughs> These niggas can't be serious, bro. Five. All right. I'm pretty sure he gets defense per dodge, by the way. What? Is, what was Omatsu and his team smoking when they made these easy A's, bro? Hold on, let me see the links. Oh, he's living his best life, bro. He's living his best life. But yeah, this motherfucker UI, he has been a fraudulent dodger for me for a long time. But now this mother... <laughs> 23 million. I feel like half of this video is just gonna be me yelling out statistics. Like I'm a, like I'm a fucking stockbroker. Do stockbrokers do that? I don't fucking know. I'm not a stockbroker. I play Dokkan. And more than anything, I enjoy playing Dokkan. Look at this, bro. Can I already revive? I can already, can I actually already revive? Are we dead ass? I know they need to be below 77% HP, but I know Vegeta needs to get hit five times. Did we already get hit five times in the last turn? Oh yeah, in case you didn't think they were good enough, they, uh, you know, fuck it. Right, Omatsu, fuck it. They also have the easiest revive conditions I've ever seen, bar none. One and two, easiest revive conditions ever. Maybe Vegeta's is a little annoying, get hit five times, but Goku's is just free. It's free. Oh, and Vegeta was stacking his attack and defense per super, or just attack in general. So what's his attack, or not attack. God, I can't talk, I can't talk. What's his defense now? 587k. That's with 58. That's with 50% damage reduction. He also gets an additional, I think, 10% damage reduction for the first three hits that he takes. God damn, or something like that. And look at this. Like, I cannot believe this rotation is real. I all of these units, literally, again, six months ago, they were fucking garbage. All of these units now, I'm not even bullshitting, are probably top 10 in the game. Uh, especially UI and Evolution Blue. This is only my second turn using fucking Vegeta. Look at this. We might not even get to see Vegeta do anything. These niggas might clear the whole phase by themselves. What am I playing? What am I witnessing? Look at this. I... They're still going. How many attacks is that? Don't do another one. Jesus, like, let Vegeta do something. It is his fucking easy A, guys. It's his video. God damn. And 20 million, bro. Yeah, I mean, what do you want me to say? What do you want me to say? Defense on point. The attacks, look, we're getting all the KO screens and shit too. Like, the, these niggas are different. I truly cannot believe this is happening right now. Oh, and look at this poor bastard. Look at this poor bastard. Go, fuck it. I'm gonna use the active skill. It's funny because back in the day, in case you guys didn't know, one of the most, one, one thing I always thought was cool about the kits for these units is Goku and Vegeta, they get 50% chance to crit per super, but it's actually additive. So once they get the additional super, they get a guaranteed crit. Anyway, all that to say, back in the day, I actually had full crit on my MUI just because his active skill was so weak. Because it was so weak. And now you do his active skill and guess what? You get guaranteed crits for the turn. So what does it matter? These units have so much crit in their kit. I literally don't know why. Bro, you know what? And I keep talking about like, oh, like if you would have told me that all these old Goku and Vegeta units would have been crazy six months ago. I wouldn't have believed you, bro. More than any, if you would have told me that Android 17 and 18 are probably leading one of the best teams in the game right now, I would have called bullshit immediately. I would have called bullshit because I mean, look at this shit, bro. This is a new event. This shit is new. And funny enough, of course, standard Dokkan players, people are already, you know, they're, they're, they, they've been complaining a little bit. It seems a lot of people aren't appreciative of the fact that let's be real. Let's call it what it is. And it's so crazy because I was talking so much at the beginning of this anniversary about how happy I was that Broly managed to like climb his way to the top. Like he was one of the big dogs now. Uh, both of these units are better than him. I just gotta be real. I just gotta be, even just reading them on paper, both of these units 
units are better than Broly. I don't know what to tell you. And some people are upset about that. Some people really don't like the fact that some easy A's can waltz in and be better than the ninth anniversary units. And I understand that complaint. I, I genuinely do because that I, I could see why if you were a Broly fan, you're a little mad that fucking Vegeta comes in at the tail end of the anniversary doing that. I, I can literally, I can, I can imagine why that might make you a little upset. But you also have to remember, these are also anniversary units. These aren't just some random bums that have just, he's still going. These aren't just some random bums that have been in the game since the beginning of time. These are other anniversary units. So I can't, they, they definitely deserve it. The units have earned it. There's no way Gogeta survives this. He's literally, look at that, 19 million. He's just getting, can you believe we're at a point where like the entire rotation is just doing 20 mil, 20 mil, 20 mil, 15 mil. Like what, where is this game going? It's even funnier because people swore up and down that this anniversary was going to suck and that it was just going to be filler buildup for 10th year. Let me guess, we can't dodge? Oh no, it looks like we might be able to dodge. This is a terrifying ass turn though. I'm not going to lie. We might be clapped. If we had the revive, I'd just let it fly, but... Come on, bro. You you have to know how sick I am of dying in these showcase videos at this point, bro. Oh, yeah. Just had to make sure I saw that correctly. 606k defense. All right. Okay, Omatsu. All right. As always, or as most times, this was live recorded over on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash slavics, where I was informed that we can dodge this man, so I'm just not even going to trip about it. I'm going to let my units do what they do. I shouldn't have done that. That was the biggest mistake I could have made. I need you to dodge this UI. I There we go. I didn't know what the dodge point was for that super. So I thought we might've been cooked. Okay, we don't have an AOE for a while and we got the guaranteed crit. So UI, just go crazy, bro. Don't even, you don't need to worry about me. I'm good back here, bro. Uh, we're, we we might be cooked, bro. I, I, I don't think we I don't think we survive up until the end, bro. We might be, Kyle Ken. I mean, 444K on a normal is, that's some heinous fucking work, bro. Truly. Well. Uh, it wouldn't be a Slaybix uses a new unit video if I didn't, if I didn't fucking die, right? I mean, my Kaioken, I think he has some baby dodge. What does it fucking matter? That was a million normal. Ooh, okay. Remember when I asked where the game was going? I guess that's where we're going. To fucking a million normals. Okay, fuck it, I guess. Well, there you have it, boys. Let me know what you guys think of LR. No longer ass BE. We're gonna put some respect on that man's name. And LR AGLMUI down in the comment section below. I can't imagine what your thoughts would be other than I love them. What else could you, th maybe if you're a Broly fan, I could see you being a little mad. I could see you being a little upset. There you have it, guys. It's your boy Slavix. Signing off. Later.